Hi, welcome back to my kitchen on this kind of gray, gloomy day. Um, I'm going to make one of my favorite recipes for you. It's a mushroom barley soup. Um, it's a really versatile soup and it's really good for you. And like I said, it's one of my favorites. So we're going to get started here. Uh, first things first, we're going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil into a soup pot. And since we're making soup, this is a pretty forgiving recipe, honestly. Um, you're going to see me just kind of eyeballing a lot, and that's, that's pretty okay with this soup. So we're going to let that heat up, that oil heat up in the pan a little bit. Put the bottom. We're going to add some of my favorite frozen onions here. Again, if you like a lot of onion, you could add even a whole onion if you wanted to. This is probably me about the equivalent of a half of a chopped onion. So we're just going to let that heat up a little bit in there. Um, and like I said, this is a mushroom barley soup. Barley is kind of like the unknown super grain. It's the grain that nobody talks about and it's kind of too bad because it's really good for you and it's really cheap compared to like quinoa. Um, quinoa can be kind of expensive. Barley is not expensive at all. Um, barley is an ancient grain that has been cultivated for over 10,000 years. And like I said, it's really good for you. Um, it helps control blood sugar and insulin response. It uh, helps reduce blood pressure. It reduces cholesterol. It's high in soluble fiber. So that means it's really good for your gut. Um, it's also high in potassium and contains a pretty good amount of the B vitamins. So overall, when you're eating barley, you're doing a good thing for your body. So these onions are starting to, starting to sizzle a little bit, which is good. Um, if you were using a fresh onion, you would wanna let them saute for about five minutes to get soft. But again, since I'm using um, the frozen onion, they're already softening in there. So then I'm going to reduce my heat a little bit and add about half a cup of, this is quick barley. You can use quick barley, you can use pearl barley. Um, the quick barley is gonna move the whole thing along a little bit faster. So, and what we're doing by adding this now is just kind of toasting it a little bit. And then we also want to add about two cloves of minced garlic. So again, I'm using my jarred garlic, so that's about two tables, two teaspoons, sorry, of this jarred minced garlic. Again, this is, this is a recipe that you can do to taste, um, whatever you like best. Um, and then we're gonna do about, about a teaspoon of dried thyme. I'm not even gonna measure it, just gonna Rachel Ray it and say about a, about a palm full here. And then we're gonna let this go for about five minutes again. Just like I said, to kind of, when you can smell the barley, or you won't really smell the barley, I guess, when you can smell the garlic, um, and the barley is starting to look toasty, um, then you'll know it's time to move on to the next step. Um, Barley's very hearty. It adds a, a nice heartiness to just about anything you put it in. Um, it's great in soups in place of, even in place of pasta. Um, I put it in a lot of different soups, not just this one. Um, and with this one, again, like I said, it's a really versatile soup. If you wanted to use um, vegetable broth instead of the beef broth that I'm gonna use, you could definitely do that. If you wanted to use like a mushroom broth, that would be really good as well. Um, chicken broth will do in a pinch, um, but it's not going to have the hearty flavor that the beef broth gives it. Um, if you wanted to, you could even add in some, uh, like some beef stew meat. You could brown it with the onion, um, and that would make it a really hearty, almost a, a stew. So if you want to take a look at the barley here. About time to add the rest of our ingredients. Scrape down the sides. 
You don't need to scrape down the sides for soup here. Scrape down the sides. We're gonna add, um, this is about two good sized carrots and two stalks of celery. Again, whatever vegetables you have in the fridge, you can toss in here. This is about eight ounces of mushrooms, sliced mushrooms. These are just white mushrooms. Um, any variety of mushrooms that you can find in the store if you wanted to use portobello, shiitake, whatever you can find. This is just a basic white sliced mushroom. And so in they go. Is that a good stir? Then we're gonna add four cups of broth. Like I said, the broth is up to you. Beef broth is it was what's preferred with this recipe, but you could definitely use a vegetable broth, a mushroom broth, or like I said, even a chicken broth in a pinch. Um, this is a little trick to get your broth to come out faster and not just giving it a little air. It'll come right out a lot faster. Don't do that if you're not using all of the broth in one recipe. Put all the broth in there. We're going to add about a tablespoon of tomato paste. Again, we're not going to be real picky on the measurements here. And about a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Eyeball it in there. We're going to put in salt to taste, a couple of good cranks, a splash there, get that stirred up really good, get that tomato paste stirred through. going to add one bay leaf. Just one. Mine are a little raggedy, but one bay leaf. And give that a good stir again. Turn the heat up a little bit to bring this to a boil. This is a great recipe if you're trying to stay um, dairy free. There's no dairy in this recipe, no eggs in this recipe, and if you use the mushroom or the um, vegetable stock, it's vegan and vegetarian as well. So like I said, this is actually going to come together a little bit faster than the recipe indicates because I am using um, a quick barley, which cooks faster than the pearled barley. Um, so we're just gonna let this come to a boil. And then I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer um, probably about 30 minutes for this since I'm using the quick barley. I already put the timer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you though. <laughs> um, to my cameraman for trying to help me out. Um, yeah, so we'll let this go We'll to simmer for about 30 minutes and then come back and have a bowl. And we're back. I'm going to come in and take a look at this. Wow, look at that. We are right where we need to be with this. It looks delicious. You have to say it smells even better. Even Bradley, who doesn't like soup, said that it smells pretty good. It does. It smells delicious. But he does not want to try it because he doesn't like soup. I'm going to fish the bay leaf out there you don't want to eat that. And I'm going to dish some up for myself. Like I said, this is a super versatile soup. Whatever veggies you have in the fridge can go in. Carrots and celery, which I did. 
um, different kinds of mushrooms. You can add beef, uh, use different broths. It's a very forgiving soup. It will let you do whatever you want with it, really. And it's so good, and it's so good for you. And I'm going to burn my mouth trying to eat it. So I want a great big mushroom, too. Because they're the best part. Hey, look at this. So hearty and delicious. Soup is good food, especially on a rainy, gloomy, gray day. Nothing like a nice bowl of soup to warm you up. If you have any crusty bread, it would be great with it. If not, just have a bowl of soup. So until next time, enjoy yourselves, have fun, eat soup, and stay safe. Bye.